this trail is, I, I haven't come up here in at least a year and I can see some tire tracks. So I'm assuming someone's come up this year already, but it's tight up in here. Um, I'm hoping to get it open enough that um, I can invite some friends up and um, we can make a day of it because the end of this trail is an absolutely phenomenal view. It looks like we got a tree down on the trail so I'll just whip out the saw here and get this thing all cleaned out of here and then we can carry on.
Okay, so we got a bit of a water crossing here. Um, it's not super deep. I've been through this before. It's a couple feet deep um, in spots, and then it's a little deeper in other spots. So, but it's a uh, pretty decent climb out of out of the water on the other side. So, I'll set the camera up, try and get a good vantage point for you. Another tree crossing the way here. Looks like it's gonna be one of those days. Okay, so one of the main reasons I came out here today um, is because I had heard rumors that an airplane at some point had crashed in the vicinity of this, well, this area. Um, and I was told that there was parts of an airplane still left over, kind of scattered through the forest. And um, I have been up here before, but I've never been able to find um, this area. So I thought I'd come up here today and take another look and it looks as though I have found the jackpot. Um, so I'm just going to take a quick walk through these bushes here and by the looks of it is what I suspected. So we've got an old part of the uh, fuselage. It's aluminum. It looks like some landing gear here, or perhaps a wing. I'm not 100% sure what this part would be. Um, there's lots of other parts scattered around here. Um, this is a fairly big part. Again, not sure if it's a wing or what, but basically if you keep walking, if you keep walking further into the forest here, there are more parts scattered around the place. So I've done a little bit of research and I can't find anything online about a crash or anything in this area. So, a few more parts here. It's just aluminum and there's some parts here. This is really lightweight aluminum, so I think it was maybe a small plane or something. Still pretty cool though. I finally found the the plane parts. Again, if anybody knows anything about this um, or why there are parts of a plane up here, um, please let me know in the comments. This is a pretty cool thing to see here. I 
I mean, it's kind of creepy as well, right? You don't know what happened up here. You don't know why there's a plane up here. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it. There's no other parts or seats or engines or anything like that kicking around that I can see. Um, but yeah, like I said, if anybody knows anything, please, please drop in the comments what, what actually happened up here. And just off to the side where the plane parts are, there's a beautiful little lake. I have no idea what this lake is called, but it's pretty small. And it's got really dark, dark water, so. Yeah, so far a pretty cool little trip. Anyway, we got lots of ground to cover, so let's continue on. I got to show you just how tight some of this stuff is like we're they're cruising through this forest here and it is like it doesn't get much tighter than this guys look at that We've come to a point in the trail where it's far too tight to continue without some serious uh, clearing. So I've parked up the Jeep and I got a couple power tools and I'm slowly making my, making my way through just clearing brush and deadfall and stuff like that. This, this trail doesn't get run very often and um, even when it does, people just seem to just drive over the deadfall and just kind of keep going and don't do any kind of trail maintenance so uh yeah like i said i parked up the jeep and i grabbed some tools i'm a trusty sawzall and yeah i'm just making my way through just picking up all the dead trees and pushing them off to the side and yeah as you can see it's pretty tight this might not look super tight on camera but I mean, I'm skeptical whether I'm even going to get my JL through here, so it's kind of a buggy trail, I guess. But um, yeah, as you can see, it kind of goes further down the trail there, and you can see how tight it is, so we got lots of work to do. All right, so after doing a lot of walking and brush clearing and whatnot today, I don't know if we're going to make it to the end. We're a little bit further away from the end than I originally anticipated. I thought we were kind of right around the corner, but um, we're quite, yeah, we're quite a bit further back than I thought. So 
And I don't know if we have enough daylight or batteries to keep clearing. Um, so what I'm going to do is probably split this into a two-part um, video. And then the second part will be actually getting to uh, the lookout and showing you guys how magnificently just beautiful it is. Um, we're out in British Columbia's backcountry right now, so like I haven't seen a person in hours. We're it's just me out here, so I'd like to get out of here before dark. Um, yeah, as you can see, it, it, it's really tight. So you know, this is far too tight to get a full-size, full-bodied rig through. Maybe a, maybe a buggy or something could come through here or a side-by-side, -side, but it's, it's far too tight for me at this point. So it looks like this is about as far as we can come today. Um, but I seriously want to thank you guys for watching um, along with me today on this adventure. Boy, it's getting really tight. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to come up with another plan here, but... Um, Stick with me, part two, we're going to get to that lookout. Um, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe um, and hit the notification button. That way you won't miss out on part two of this video. Uh, we have a ton of fun coming out here and doing this. Like I'm literally out in the woods by myself with my saws all clear and brush. And yeah, this is awesome. So yeah, make sure you stick around for part two and uh yeah we'll get to that bluff and uh i can't wait it's gonna be rad thanks for watching